Albion lost just once in the seven games leading up to the Stirlingshire derby, so the nature of their collapse was something of a surprise. Scott Crabbe started Falkirk's goal route in the 11th minute, set up by David Moss. Crabbe slotted home well. Sterling Albion rarely threatened in this match, and in this particular occasion, it wasn't so much a Sterling chance, but a Falkirk blunder. Paul Mathers recovering well after dropping the ball. Albert Craig's corner kick led to the creation of Falkirk's second goal. Sterling didn't clear their lines. And there's Marino Keith. 2-0 Falkirk. The former Dundee United striker takes his chance well. Albion were down and out in the 38th minute when Kevin McAllister added a third goal for Falkirk. He made the space and blasted past McGowan. The celebration looked as though it belonged at an office Christmas party. But McAllister recovered. And this certainly was a goal of quality from the wee winger. Alec Tottenside were awarded a penalty kick just before half-time. Marino Keith running towards goal was pulled down by Andy Patterson. Patterson might have got a toe to the ball, but he certainly hauled down the player as well. The penalty was taken by Albert Craig, and he celebrates his 36th birthday by making it still Albion nil, Falkirk 4. The weather in the second half took a turn for the worse. The wind almost assisted Sterling in their search for goal. Alec Bone's effort now, blowing towards goal, but not enough to trouble Paul Mathers. The weather conditions evident again there. Albert Craig shaking the water off his boots with the corner flag almost bent over double in the wind. But the storm didn't hinder Falkirk in their search for a fifth goal, and David Moss got it. It started with a shot from Marino Keith, and it hit off Moss, possibly his hand, but the goal counted, and Falkirk were five up after an hour. Still had a great chance to pull one back, but Paul Mather saved it well. Tommy Tate flighted in the ball. Alec Bones' header was powerful, and Mathers dealt with it. Falkett rounded off their Super 6 in great style, sub David Hagen making good ground, beating two men, and after the 1-2 with Scott Crabb, he sold a dummy to McGowan, and he kept his composure to score. Falkirk saved their best until last, 6-0 now. A goal of real quality from David Hagen, three wins in a row for Falkirk, they're positioning the table much stronger after this result. But can they keep their title challenge going?